Recent Decision, U.S. Court of Appeals for the Seventh Circuit, Applying Illinois Law The U.S. Court of Appeals for the Seventh Circuit recently ruled that a policy affords coverage for the replacement of siding on all four elevations of a building. See Windridge, Supra. There, the aluminum siding on the insured's building sustained damage as a result of a hail and windstorm. Two elevations sustained damage, and the carrier agreed to pay to replace the two sides. The insured sought the replacement of the siding on all elevations due to the lack of availability of matching siding. At the outset, it is critical to note that there are two underlying decisions from the United States District Court for the Northern District of Illinois. First, in 2017, the United States District Court ruled on a motion to compel appraisal. Windridge of Naperville Condominium Association v. Philadelphia Indemnity Insurance Company 2017 WL 372308, NDL January 26, 2017. The court denied the motion as it pertains to the issue of matching siding on the grounds that it was a question of coverage not subject to appraisal. The parties then proceeded to appraisal on a valuation issue pertaining to the roof. Then, the insured moved for summary judgment on the issue of coverage, which the court ruled on in 2018. Windridge of Naperville Condominium Association Philadelphia Indemnity Insurance Company 2018 WL 1784140, NDL April 13, 2018 The United States District Court found that the policy afforded coverage for the replacement of all four elevations if no matching siding was available. The court noted that if the carrier were to replace the siding on the damaged south and west elevations with siding that did not match that on the undamaged north and east elevations, it could not possibly be said that, the insured, had been made whole, for it would be left with a building suffering from a glaring and profound flaw. The case was then appealed to the Seventh Circuit. On August 7, 2019, the Seventh Circuit affirmed the lower court's ruling. The court found that the carrier is required to replace or pay to replace covered property that suffered a direct physical loss i.e., property that has been damaged. The court found that the term direct is meant to exclude situations in which an intervening force plays some role in the damage, and that the word physical generally refers to tangible as opposed to intangible damage. As a result, the court reasoned that while, the carrier's, position that only the siding directly hit by the storm is covered is not indefensible and has support in case law, the language of the policy is not so clear and in fact favors an interpretation that the unit of damaged property is the building as a whole not solely each elevation or each panel of siding. Since no matching replacement siding is available, the carrier must pay to replace all of the siding on the insured's buildings.